can you tell us about yourself? Hi, yes, I'm a GP. Um, I've been one for over 30 years and involved in medical education for most of that time and within the university for over 20 years in the undergraduate curriculum. And um, one of my main interests in education is using medical humanities for teaching medical students. So why might it be helpful to use the humanities in medical education? It's always a, a difficult question, but I, for me it's two things. Uh, the first is helping students and then subsequently doctors to grasp and understand more about the stories that patients tell them. And the second is to improve the student's self-awareness in relation to how it will, that will impact upon their consultations and their relationships with patients. Mm, okay. And what practical advice would you give for small group tutors who, who would like to incorporate using the humanities into their teaching? Okay. There's a wide range of possibilities. I think for me, I've always been acutely aware of not being a sham amateur in using artistic processes for education. But any of the artistic and humanities media could be used for giving messages to students. One of the easiest, I think, is the use of film. Although there have to be um, there has to be an awareness of the constraints of copyright uh, with that. Uh, but using clips of films to illustrate um, medical issues, be it communication skills or medical conditions, uh, are useful ways of engendering uh, uh, discussion uh, and awareness in students. Uh, and also in discussing how uh, representations that are in the public domain may or may not be accurate reflections of medical actuality. Mm. So film I find a really easy and well received medium. Not the only one, um, the written word is clearly very important and that doesn't just have to relate to medical conditions, it can relate to any book or poem that just talks about life because there's always room for ethical, philosophical discussion mm. about the material. Uh, I've also used music, visual art, but those perhaps are slightly less easy, but still uh, can give fruitful focus for discussion. Mm. My advice here really would be that film is a good starting point, but we all have access to works of writing that have meant something to us and have a, a added to our development that we could use for um, teaching purposes. And I would add to that that although it's a good starting point to use your own material, that students also, as fully functioning human beings, have a fund of their own experiences and will come equally bring their own works that would contribute to education. Mm. So just thinking from a practical point of view, would you ask the students to watch a film before the session or would you organise it in, a, in some other way? Okay, I think watching a film is really enjoyable, but that would have to be done, say, as a preparatory process, and I would have my doubts about them two scores. One is would the students, all the students, watch the film? And secondly, it's a very wide process mm. um, that would take a lot of unpicking. So, uh, no, I wouldn't do that. I would use clips that illustrate, maybe one, two, three minutes long, that illustrate particular points and it's much easier to adapt to a conversational process mm. uh, than a whole film or a whole book, because I would say the same um, with, say, a book, 
in that you would use extracts. Mm -hmm. uh, poems, if they're short, could be used in their entirety. Um, works of visual art, also. Okay, I think that's, that's great. Done that. Great. So you'd you'd select some material and then bring it for for discussion. Yes, depending upon the clinical arena under discussion. Um, there are lots of resources that are available mm. as well as your own knowledge and experience. Right. Thank you very much. My pleasure.